Hi, I'm Lisa Reese, interior decorator and home stager, and today I want to give you a tip about decorating bedrooms. Quite often, the bedroom is the most poorly decorated room in the home. Especially when you've invested all of your decorating funds on the rest of the home, the bedroom is usually the last to be decorated. So I want to give you some tips, particularly if you have an awkwardly shaped or large room. In this particular instance, we had a room that was just really sitting there with a mattress. So of course we added a headboard and some nightstands, and when you're looking to create a bedding set, make sure you go for neutrals. That way you won't get tired of pops of color. You can do that through your accents. And as far as pillow goes, my golden rule is three. I know a lot of people don't like a lot of pillows, so usually three will do it. Another thing you want to do is create vignettes. And by vignettes, I mean create little sections in the bedroom that have their own intended purpose. So you have a dresser for obviously getting changed, a place where you can keep your perfume and your jewelry, and then have another section in the bedroom that will allow for seating. Ideally two seats, or if, the, if it doesn't allow for that, at least one club chair. Nice little reading nook where you can unwind before the day is up. The last thing I want to talk about is lighting. It's really, really romantic and very warm and friendly to have a bedroom with dim lighting. So whether you're able to put your pot lights on a dimmer or a chandelier, it just, the room will always look better with dim lighting. So the other thing you want to consider is also a chandelier. Make sure you get one that's really blinged up and creates a lot of romance and drama. Incorporating some of these tips is sure to make your bedroom your own personal haven. Until next time, happy decorating and don't forget to live with style.